My name is Paris Johnson. I am a forensic scientist at the Michigan State Police Northfield Forensic Laboratory. I grew up watching shows such as Law and & Order and CSI, and those shows piqued my interest in the subject. As a forensic scientist, we don't really care for the CSI effect because it gives a false reality of what forensic science is. The show CSI portrays the detectives and the CSI investigators responding to crime scenes with long flowy hair and makeup and high heels, whereas that is not true at all. We wear our hair pulled back, um, because we don't want hair to fall on the evidence and we don't want to contaminate the crime scene. We also don't solve crimes within 60 minutes. I conduct analysis in the trace evidence unit. Trace evidence is divided into trace materials, fire debris and explosives, and footwear and tire tracks. Most of my day is spent in the laboratory. However, I spend time outside of the laboratory writing reports and conducting training, receiving training, and also as a member of the crime scene response team responding to crime scenes. For footwear and tire track analysis, first the impression is photographed, and then that photograph is then printed as a one-to-one -one or a natural size image. Then I take notes on what I see in the question impression or the impression from the crime scene. After I first look at the question evidence, I can then look at the known evidence which comes from the suspect. So in footwear, I look at the suspect's shoe. I can notice the model and tread design and different shapes and features at the outsole of the shoe. And then I make a test impression. A test impression is a visual representation of the outsole of the shoe. I can then compare the test impression of the suspect shoe with the question impression from the crime scene. I believe good forensic scientists need to be honest and have integrity, as well as have a lot of curiosity. I definitely would encourage others to get into the field, especially if they love science and criminal justice.